The so Defence Ministry has been holding a briefing on those developments in Syria. We can go now live to that. Let's take a listen. As a result of the strike, there are numerous human casualties. I would like to emphasize that in this particular area, at this time, the Air Force, the airspace force of the Russian Federation was not used. Please, uh, uh, I would like to hear a report on the center of the appeasement of the fighting uh, uh, forces, General Savchenko. Uh, Comrade Lieutenant General, today at 1700 hours, two F-16 jet planes, two A-10 planes and a strike drone of the United States Air Force inflicted a strike on the objects of defense of the Syrian Republic in the area six kilometers to the south of the Deir Zor airfield. Uh, we have received information from the Syrian party. The commander of the group of forces have communicated with the center of joint operations at a date in Qatar and have requested an immediate stop to the strikes. As a result, at 17.50, the airstrikes were stopped. After the strikes have been effected, the IS fighters have started an offensive in this area. So currently, there is severe fighting going on. As from 1900 hours, the airspace aircraft of Russia are providing air support to the Syrian units and they are striking the IS forces. Well, currently, 10 attacks have been performed. I have completed my report. Let the representative of the Defense Minister of the Syrian Republic report on the casualties. Yes, please. لوحدات القوات المسلحة للجمهورية العربية السورية بلغت الخسائر بين الأفراد المية وستين فرداً the Russian uh, Defense what Ministry are holding a briefing related uh, to that airstrike in uh, the east of the country in Deir Zor province in Syria. Confirmed uh, just now, 62 soldiers uh, from the Syrian Arab army have been killed, over 100 uh, injured in that airstrike. Also, news came in. Uh, just uh, around 20, 30 minutes or so ago that the U.S. Uh, uh, officials have also confirmed that an airstrike uh, may have taken place there and that uh, Syrian forces may have accidentally been targeted, not intentionally, and uh, that the airstrike was halted as soon as uh, the officials were informed by Russian officials it was possible the personnel and vehicles uh, targeted were part of the Syrian military. We have a, uh, se a statement here from the U.S. Central Command, a full statement. They said the coalition forces believed they were striking a Daesh uh, fighting position that they had been tracking for some time uh, before the strike. The uh, location of strike is also in an area the coalition has struck in the past. Let's just get back to that statement now. A strike have cleared the way for the fighters of the IS that can take over the Deir city now. It's only because of the support of the airspace forces of Russia, the offensive of the terrorist groups was stopped. We request that the air support to the units of the armed forces of the Syrian Republic be continued. That is performed by the airspace forces of the Russian Federation in order to destroy the terrorists. The airspace forces of Russia will continue to strike the IS fighters in the Deir Zor area and will continue to provide support to the government forces. We believe that this particular incident with a lot of casualties uh, has become possible uh, because the general situation was not known by the command of the coalition and the unwillingness on the American side to coordinate with Russia their actions to counter the terrorist groups
the territory of Syria. We were expecting explanations of this particular fact from the commander of the coalition groups led by the U.S. Thank you for your attention.